Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can easily edit and color grade the photo when it comes to Photoshop in the shortest time possible. So, simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe if you're totally going to be benefiting from this very video. So, after importing the raw image in Photoshop, the very first thing you have to do is correcting the lighting and contrast issues. And for this, I'll take the highlights down and do the same for the whites to recover information within the dress. Then, after that, I'll simply come and open up the shadow of this image and take the blacks down to have more contrast into the dark areas that had gotten to look gray. So I'll simply come the contrast and add some contrast in the image and open up the exposure. And after opening up the exposure of this very image, I'll simply even take the heights, the whites and highlights down and open up the sh shadows even more. So I feel like the, the image is leaning more on the cool side, on the blue side. So I'll just come the temperature and warm up or add warmth to the overall image around 5600 kelvins then i'll scroll to my color mixer and in color mixer i'll simply play around with the hue saturation and luminous so for this i'll come to the hues remember hue is changing a color saturation is the intensity of a color and luminous is the brightness or darkness of a color so i'll come to the hues of the greens and i make the greens a little bit to the aqua side i'll also come to the yellows and play around with the yellow slider so i feel like I should take the yellows more towards the green side so that the model can stand out. And after that, I'll come the saturation and reduce on the intensity or the saturation of the greens and increase on the intensity of the blues for the sky. Then I'll come the luminous and darken on the brightness level of the blue and slightly brighten up the greens in the background. So after that, I'll make the image pop by coming to calibration and come to blow primary and take up the saturation and you can see the image is going to be popping in this case so before after hit open to, to open the image in photoshop so in photoshop i'll simply do the skin retouching so for this press ctrl j or you can use command j on the keyboard twice to create those two layers then double click on the middle layer name it to color and double click on the upper layer name it to texture to rename it so after doing this, I'll simply come to the color layer, turn off the texture layer, come to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So when it comes to Gaussian blur, take the radius slider down and start or click on any area that has more textures on the screen and gradually start taking up the slider up to when the textures on the screen are disappearing. Click OK. Select the texture layer, now activate it, then simply come to image apply image so when it comes to apply image the source is the name of the photo you're editing under layer select the color layer the channel has to be rgb the blending for a 16-bit image has to be add the scale is to offset zero or pass at 100 percent preserve transparency and not and mask cannot check and simply turn on the invert option in case you're editing an 8-bit image so if you have 8 right here it means the photo you're editing is an 8-bit image or 8-bit photo so for your settings make sure Color layer is selected, channel RGB, invert is not checked, and for the blending, it is subtract, the scale is to offset 128, and you'll have the same settings. For my case, it is a 16-bit image, I'll revert the settings to 16-bit, then change this from normal to linear light, and select both layers, then press Ctrl G, or you can use Command G on the keyboard, group these layers, open up the group, select the color layer, right-click under the brushes, get the mixer brush tool, settings clean brush and the second option that says clean brush after each stroke is selected with the weight of nine percent load 75 mix 90 flat 100 percent make sure sample all layers is not checked and turn on the texture or high frequency layer so it is time to blend the transition between the skin tones so using the mixer brush tool we want to blend the colors within the skin tones or within the skin of the subject so mix the highlights alone mid tones alone and the shadows alone like that in order to smoothen and blend the tones within the skin of the model or the subject so i'll do this for the rest of the areas that have skin in this very image so and blend you have to use or you left click and hold down and you drag the brush in a given direction to blend so in order to increase or reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool you can use the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard to reduce or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool depending on the amount of colors in the area that you want to work on or blend so just come 
also the hand. Make sure you don't leave it. Try to blend the tones on the fingers just like that. So after blending, the next step is simply turning on the texture or high frequency layer. And it's time to remove the pimples or blemishes. You can see before, after, before, after. So in order to remove the pimples or blemishes from the model skin, this is what we're going to be doing in this case. Select the texture layer and get the clone stamp tool. The mode is normal, past in the flat 100%. The sample is set to current layer and aligned is checked. And you have to zoom all the way in by using Ctrl plus or you can use Command plus on the keyboard. So to remove a given pimple or blemish, hold down the Option key on the keyboard. For Windows, this the alternate key on the keyboard. So Option, Option, and left click to copy clean skin near the pimple or the blemish. And left click once again over the pimple or the, the blemish to replace the pimple with clean skin. So I'll do this for the rest of the pimples or blemishes on the model skin. Take your time as you're doing this because you don't want to leave out pimples or blemishes and skin imperfections on the model or subject's face whom you're trying to edit or work on. So one finger has to keep on pressing the option key on the keyboard to sample, clean skin and paste it rather onto those areas so it is time to work on the skin tone so for the skin tones close the overall group and create a stamp visible layer by pressing shift option command e shift alternate control e for windows and after that just come and create a new empty layer change the blend mode from normal all the way down to color then come to this stamp visible layer that we created initially come to select come to subject and the subject layer is going to be selected or the subject is going to be selected in this case Come back to the empty layer that we created, then come to the brushes, right click, right click and get the brush tool and make sure the hardness or soft round brush is selected and the hardness of the brush is set to zero. The mode is normal or passing the flat 100% and this time around I'm just going to zoom in by using command plus or control plus on the keyboard and sample a color on the model skin. So the color to be sampled has to be the color that you want the rest of the skin to look like. So option. And I'll hold down the option key on the keyboard and I sample a color on the model skin that I want the rest of the skin to look like. So I feel like that around that area, that color looks okay. So after sampling, and by the way, to sample color on the skin, I'll undo this. So to sample color or to choose a color sample on the model skin, hold down the option key on the keyboard and left click to choose or to sample or to get a sample of a color option or alternate and you choose a sample color and after choosing that sample color start painting over the skin so I'll paint quickly because I don't want the tutorial to be the usual long tutorials on the channel because I know most of you tend to find the long tutorials a little bit boring so I'm just going to do this quickly so paint just like that on the skin, reduce on the size of uh, the brush by using the bracket keys as usual and continue painting over the model skin. So I'm just going to reduce on the size and paint just right there in between some areas of her hair. So I'll come to the lower part of the body. So make sure that you have painted on each and every area that contains skin tones. So for example, the hand right below here. So I'll use a very small brush to paint on the hand or the arm, whatever you try to call it. So I'll quickly paint right there, just like that. And as you can see, we have created even skin tones, even on the hand. So in case I've painted extras that you did not want to paint, get the eraser tool or you can press E on the keyboard. The mode is set to brush opacity in the flat 100%. And using a very small eraser tool, you can erase or rub away. The extra colors that may have spilled to some areas of the model's body or outfit. So before the brush to paint back color in those areas that you may have accidentally missed out. So I've painted majority of the areas. So B is for the brush, E is for the eraser tool. So I'll paint like that. E for the eraser and I'll zoom in to see or identify the areas that I may have accidentally painted, especially the eyes. So before the brush and paint color in those areas once again. So 
After painting these colors, it is time to fine tune the image even more to have a more natural and realistic kind of skin tone or skin color. Command minus to zoom out. So right now, this is the before and after. Press Ctrl D or you can press Command D on the keyboard to deselect active selection. Then just come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity so that it can look a little bit better and realistic. Then come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. In case the skin tone is looking too yellowish or too orange, come to master, select the reds, and you can take down the lightness of the reds to reduce on the amount of oranges, especially within the model's skin tone. So after that, you can even come and create a black and white adjustment layer, change the blend mode from normal to multiply, and reduce on the opacity in order to add more contrast into the model skin. Then you're going to come and create a select selective color adjustment layer. Come and target the blacks and come to where you see the suns and take the sun slider up. And that is going to make especially the greens in the background to pop a little bit more and the blacks a little bit more cinematic before, after. So after this, you can even whiten her outfit by coming and targeting the whites. I feel the whites are having a little bit of yellow color cast on them. So come to the whites and come to where you see yellows. And you can simply come to the yellow slider and move it towards the opposite direction to make the outfit white or whiter in this case before after so after we have done this it is time to whiten the eyes of the subject so in order to whiten the eyes simply come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer come and make sure master is selected and take down the saturation to around negative 79 then with the white layer mask selected press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect then Come and get the normal brush tool. Make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. In case you have any other color apart from black and white, you can simply press D on the keyboard to reset it to black and white. Reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and simply start painting on the eyes or even the teeth. In case you want to do eye and teeth whitening, Control minus or command minus. So right now we are done editing this for image and color grading. So it is time to save the image. So just come to file export and come to export as and it's going to open up the export as dialog box right here in photoshop and for your file settings the file format is set to jpeg quality set the maximum for this case which is seven resample set to by cubic sharper and make sure under color space you have convert srgb and embed color profile and click on export in order to save or export the photo in that location that you want or desire. So this is how you can edit a photo in Photoshop from the start to the very end. And if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching. And you are not a subscriber to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.